Bitcoin is back above $50,000. It is also back above a trillion dollars in market cap. In fact, Bitcoin is almost trading at $52,000 right now. It's Valentine's Day. What a nice surprise for all of us crypto hodlers. So what is happening now? What can we expect? Things are going crazy. You're probably feeling FOMO. I'm even feeling a bit of FOMO. You know, like I don't have enough. It's going up. It's going up. So is that something to pay attention to? Could we be nearing some sort of resistance? Or is this indeed a complete full-blown front-run theory where we are just going up from here to the all-time high, maybe a bit higher than that by the time of the halving within the next two months? And then could that potentially be some peak or not? Well, as you can see over here, Bitcoin is here at $51,500. And you can see the market cap is back over a trillion dollars. We briefly hit this um, for a short period of time in 2021. And that was, of course, a massive milestone to get to over a trillion dollars. Now, if Bitcoin were to get half the market cap of gold, we are looking at a lot more upside. We're looking at multiple trillions of dollars in market cap for Bitcoin because the valuation of gold or the market cap of gold is well above $10 trillion. So assuming that Bitcoin is indeed the new version of digital gold and that it is much more adopted because, you know, gold is heavy. You have to store it somewhere. There's insurance costs. There's all those kind of things. Whereas Bitcoin is digital. It doesn't cost anything to store. You don't even need to insure it. You can just keep it on a little hardware device or even memorize the seed freeze if you really have to. And now with spot ETFs approved, there is a lot more access availability to Bitcoin in a compliant and regulated way. So does that indeed mean that there is still trillions of dollars to flow into Bitcoin or tens of billions or hundreds of billions of dollars that will push the price so much higher over the coming months and years? Since the Bitcoin spot ETFs have been approved a few weeks back, we have already seen literally billions of dollars of inflows into these spot ETFs and that is only the start. So what if really there is so many more traditional investors that are going to start allocating parts of their portfolio, even if it's just 1% or a few percent to Bitcoin through these e ETF vehicles? What if we start seeing people being able to allocate through their 401ks? What if pension funds start allocating through this, through these now compliant vehicles? That could indeed potentially set us up for much higher prices in Bitcoin. And while it does seem completely um, a bit crazy, in my opinion, to start talking about, you know, multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars of Bitcoin, could that end up being a possibility? If you think about it, if it gets to half the, the market cap of gold, well, we are probably looking at two to three hundred thousand dollars per Bitcoin. But will that happen overnight? No. Will that even happen this cycle? Who knows? Okay, so with that in mind, keeping both sides of the coin here that if this ETF is indeed such a big deal that we are going to see so much money flow in, that maybe there is potential that over the coming years, this goes a lot higher. But at the same time, I have been talking about a front run scenario for uh, the, the vast majority of the past year or so, where I say it is possible that this cycle is different if we get rate cuts, which now have moved on a little bit, so we're not going to see a rate cut very likely by March, but maybe still by May, that those rate cuts might signal the top of global financial markets and that we see another massive bear market. And so far, we are very much on track towards moving to potential all-time highs here in April because we are now at almost $52,000. We're in the middle of February. There's still two months to go to the halving. If this continues at this pace and this buy pressure continues, and we see Bitcoin go up to 70,000, 69,000 at this point, it's not even $20,000 move, right? That could happen in two months if this is sort of a blow off kind of phase. So let's take a look at the chart and let's see if we can see anything there. So here we have a daily chart of Bitcoin. You can see $51,500. And where we are right now, you can see with this arrow, the Fibonacci golden pocket over here between 48,000 and 50,000, we're there, but we also have the 0.70% Fibonacci retracement of the whole bear market here, of the entire 2022 bear market. We've got this retracement level, and that is 53,000 is that line, the 0.70. Now, that means there could still be resistance here and we could still see a rejection around about these levels. If we can flip this level of 53,000, I think we can see a big push um, straight to the all-time high over here, 
um, within the next two months. So we're going to have to wait and see. We are at a tricky spot here, this 53,000 level, where we're almost at 52, 53. If we get rejected here, what is gonna happen? Do we come down first and then we continue higher? or what happens here. So I want to see Bitcoin clear 53,000 and get a couple daily closes above that level at least. If we can do that, then it becomes more likely in my opinion, we take a run at the all time highs here at 69,000 and probably overshoot it a little bit. Maybe we go to 80, maybe we go to 90, but that is still possible by the time of the halving. Now, obviously Bitcoin here is at $52,000. So if you're asking yourself, should you buy Bitcoin? Well, what is the potential upside, right? Okay, if it goes to 100 or 150,000, that's a two to three X. And that's obviously very, very nice if you're working with big amounts of capital, but um, for the average person, that isn't really gonna make a difference. If you're investing a few thousand or 10,000, yes, it's nice to get a two or a three X on that, but it isn't really gonna move the needle. What really moves the needle is the altcoins where you can see 10X, 20X, 30X, 50X, maybe even more. And that is what we get to see if we see continuation here in uh, Bitcoin, once that starts going higher and higher and higher, then those profits are gonna move over into altcoins at some point. And then we see Ethereum, because um, that's been lagging behind. We see Ethereum start to pump like crazy. And that's still only, where is it at right now? Um, it's at 2,700, which is nice, but it still needs to go to almost 5,000 to go back to the all-time highs. So that can start to play catch up. And then we see all these other altcoins also start to pump. So here I have a chart of the total altcoin market cap, which is not including Bitcoin. It's basically all the altcoins. And you can see in the previous cycle, this only really started to move in the last, say, two to three months. You can see here in January of 2021, it went from 266 billion to 1.45 trillion. So that's basically a 6x on the entire market cap of altcoins in a period of five months. And the, the largest move here even basically came from February in, in a period of two months, it basically went 3x in altcoins. So the altcoins tend to move towards the very last phase of the cycle. And if we see Bitcoin really explode here in the next two months or so, we could also really start to see altcoins take a move up into March, April, or May, and potentially really see those multiples. So in my opinion, right now is the time to pay attention. Let's see what Bitcoin does. Let's see if it can reclaim 53,000. If it does, I think things are looking good for continuation to the all-time highs and potentially even by April. If you need help with crypto, if you wanna know how to get started, where to buy coins, which coins to buy, if you have questions, come and join me inside VIP. There's a couple days left for a $1,000 discount off the membership fee. The link is in the description down below. Everything is in there, my courses, my training, my updates, my newsletters, um, all my courses about reading charts, trading, a crypto beginners course. And of course you get access to me and the entire community, more than 2,300 members at this point inside our Discord where you can ask me questions, you get access to my daily charts, my trade ideas, all of that in real time. It's really worth joining. If you're interested in learning about crypto, you wanna know how to get started, you have capital to invest, you don't know what to do, come and join VIP. It is risk-free for 60 days. So sign up now, the link is in the description down below. You save $1,000 if you sign up before February 17th, midnight, and that way you get access to everything and all the guidance you need to help you navigate the rest of this bull market cycle. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.